YouTube. Uh, uh, this is Survival Guy here, and I want to show you my survival bag. It's all undone. Like I took out everything so I can show y'all video. It covers my whole entire bed. So I first I want to start out with the knives. I got this little knife on eBay for about twelve bucks. So it's a piece of crap, but you know, hey, it's just a knife. Here is my Bear Grylls survival knife. It's got flint steel on the front for sparking a fire. Uh, it's probably one of the best Bear Grylls knives you can get. And also I have just a little multi-tool right there It's in the case. I don't really want to take anything out because I just don't want to. Um, I have a toilet paper right here. This is not a necessity, but it's something if you want to take you can have. I put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't destroy and ruin everything I have. I have some soap because, you know, if you get stuck in the wild, you want to stay clean. Just regular old bar soap. I got some waterproof matches right here, 40 of them. Uh, some regular old Camp Coleman, 40 matches per pack. I have a little fishing kit. This is a 12-pound test. Uh, I got some little hooks and some dental floss because I just thought I'd be good put in there. I have a buck knife. It's real cool. It's camo. Don't drop it in the woods. <laughs> okay, I got some canned food here. I got some corn. I got some spaghettios. I got some cut green beans. I have something to boil them in. And also I have another one right here. And I have some more cut green beans. I have a flashlight. It's real bright. This is actually waterproof. So that's cool. I got some more waterproof matches right here. Uh, with a rain poncho. One size fits all. I got a pair of socks because I just thought that, you know, no one wants to wear nasty, nasty socks. Uh, I got a can opener and got four bottles of water. Um, I have, this is a dryer lint in here in this bag if you're wondering, so, to get a spark on the fire. I got some Raymond noodles right here because these virtually never expire. I mean, you, can, you, know, you can always eat them. I got six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got six of them. I got some granola bars in a Ziploc bag, so that way they don't get wet. I also have a space blanket with a little bit of paracord in there, so that way I can do what I want with the space blanket. And I have a Ziploc bag in there. Um, got some oatmeal cream pies, great for calories and stuff. I also have a crap ton of Ziploc bags because you can never have too much Ziploc bags. I also have this bag here, just empty because I put my matches in it. So that way they don't get, because cause they are not waterproof, but these are, and that one is. So, I have a tarp. It is a 5x7 tarp. As you can see, it's dirty, it's been used, and I use it a lot, at least once a week. I use it a lot. So, uh, so this is my Gerber machete. I definitely want to take this out to show you this. Hold on just one second, bear with me. Here you go. This is a really good machete. I love this thing. It's really cool. Uh, it's a 13 inch blade. A really, really rock hard solid handle. Made by Bear Grylls Gerber. Um, hold on one second. Let me put it back in the case for you guys. I do, I do have a little two person tent right here. I mean, I just have that just because there's not in my survival kit. Because I don't believe you really need it if you're in a spouse situation. All I really need is a tarp. So, this is my one week survival kit. And if you have anything that you think I should add, please comment. Um, this is probably my fourth or fifth video. So, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe.